In this video, we will see how we can build a reactive web application in our systems. For this, we will need to launch Service Studio first. Once you launch the Service Studio, make sure you connect with the ID with your environment URL and the account that you have for development. Once you're through, you're able to click on new application icon to start from scratch. Choose the template for reactive web application. Give the application a name. Let's build a customer management app. You can upload the icon of the application as well as choose a color scheme for the application. For example, blue and create application. Now at the screen, this is where you would be doing model management. You can create multiple models in an application. For now, we are good with this first module. Let's go ahead. Now in our systems, there are these four tabs, which are four different areas of the application. Workflow processes, interfaces, logic, and data. We start from data. Let's uh, create a table. We call them entity in our systems. We'll name it customer. And thereafter in customer entity we'll add a couple of attributes that form a customer for example name i'll use keyboard shortcuts of control and n to add a new attribute let's say we have address and email and a phone you will notice how platform gives you these pre-built CRUD operations but we won't even need that as of now thereafter you will be building screen we'll switch to interface tab Make sure you double click on main flow and you are at the main flow editor. While staying at the main flow editor, switch to data tab and drag and drop the customer entity at the main editor. This is where uh, in our platform we have these accelerators that can uh, do some of these uh, trivial stuff of creating listing screen and detail screen. Let's see what the platform has done. So for example, it has built for us a listing screen with the information coming from the table. We can of course modify these things if we want. For example, selecting the property, uh, selecting the element and working through their properties, right? Visually, maybe let's say make it bold. Or we can also explore some of these items available in the widget window. Maybe phone is something that we want to make more prominent. So we'll use it in a tag. Uh, not just this, platform also went ahead and built a detail page for us with the logic for saving the information. All good. At the end, just click on the screen button, which is what we call it one click publish. And publish the application. Now platform starts doing the governance piece here. This is where it creates the version management. It does the compilation and code generation. And finally it updates the code into app server and updates the database models into database server. And finally your application is ready which is also indicated by this icon which has just now turned blue. You can click on it to launch the application here on a browser window and log in with the account that you had earlier used for accessing your environment. Log in. Now, this is an empty application so let's start with creating some customers. So how about we John address coaching phone some number and save. It works. In case you want to view the details, click on it to see the details and make some changes. Save. That is also is working. And there you go. Thanks for watching.